everybody. It was a bright and early this morning at 5.45 and we got on our way. My dad came home at 6.30 about and we are on our way. We are currently in Gaylord. We stopped to get some breakfast. Um, I'm kind of regretting my outfit choice because I'm wearing freeze which helped me which swap for the walking. So I didn't wear a hoodie. I wore this coat and it's supposed to be cold. <laughs> So if worst comes to worst, I don't get clutch and I get a uh, sweatshirt instead. Um, but it's a nice day. It's kind of cloudy, overcast, but no rain up here. It was pouring for like the first hour, almost hour and a half of the car ride up here. Like utter pouring. But we are in Gaylord. We are stopping for breakfast. Food is good. Um, funny thing is, is um, I talked about how my mom's in Gaylord right now. We are actually just down the street from the Walmart she will be at, and we are also right by her hotel. So that is really funny. So food is up. I'm gonna go grab it, and we are gonna head back on the road. And hopefully next time I talk to you, we will be in Mackinac City. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, quick update. We are here on Ma at Mackinac City at the Starline Docks, waiting to get on the ferry. The next ferry isn't coming till 10. We got here like 9:30, so we are waiting to get on the ferry. And if you can't tell. I don't know if you guys 
guys can see how tightly my hand is gripping the back of my dad and my brother's seat.
mom calling, not you. I 
hope not. Yeah. I've still got Star Wars stuff to do. I thought you were more across from the church. I was. Yeah, I would have been. Because there's the park. I wasn't. There's the church, Dad. I think that's. No, that's not St. Anne's. I was. Yeah, there's St. Anne's. I was that little pathway right there. Leading down to the water. That was my street. Oh my gosh. Oh, because of the sailboat, he had to slow down. No, they I slow down about here. Oh. So no probably no way to sell. Yeah, because Just right to see you. Yeah, and I always usually walk that way in the morning because I always want to go to Arch Rock and climb the stairs. I actually do miss that climbing up to Arch Rock almost every single day. I don't know if my knee would hold up today if I decided to do it because there's Mission Point. There too was a um, crew member. He was sitting right there. He kind of blends in. Holy cow, that is a massive boat. I changed my mind. I like taking this. <laughs> that must be their cruise boat. with it, that would pretty much be the logo for the Lakeview. Must be doing a cruise or something. in the water. I remember when you came over. <laughs> I remember eating lunch at Mighty Mac and us watching the geese.
trying to see. Hi guys, so check in. We are here on the island. We've been here for a few minutes. I didn't realize how much I missed it until I actually set the back foot on it. I'm so excited and so happy to be back here. So I'm going to do my best to get back up here next summer and hopefully get someplace where I can just live here year round. But it is gorgeous. It is beautiful up here. It is so pretty and it's fall. So pretty much the last weekend, everything's really going to be open. So a lot of places are closing and it's just a really gorgeous, beautiful fall day. And there are tons of geese. So we're actually on our way up to the Grand. We're gonna go past the Grand to go look at these pretty houses. But I don't know what else we're gonna do, but look at all the geese. No chocobo, so, so far it's been great. So now we're going to head across the street to get in the car and head home. And uh, this morning it was pouring when we left and it actually we got up here and it turned out to be a very beautiful day. So it was a good day to come. All right, guys, as you can tell, we are back home safe and sound. It was a great day. It was a good day. We were up on the island. We got there, landed about... 10 30 10 40 and we left on the two o'clock boat we were originally going to try and leave at the 1 30 boat but i guess the schedule was wrong or something and then while we were raining the dock at mackinac island they said oh because of all the luggage and stuff the boat's actually going to be delayed so our ferry for mackinac city never left until two and then that crossing was nice and then we got close to the city and I guess they had taken out two of the boats that they had stayed behind, that they weren't using that day out for a little bit. And then they were trying to redock them. So it was literally, you had three boats waiting to dock at the same time. And it was a little nerve wracking because at one point the boat ahead of us, the Radisson was backing up and it was backing toward our boat. And so our boat was backing up. So I got nervous because our boat for a few minutes was like stopped. Pretty much the engine was off kind of dead in the water because they, we weren't moving or going anywhere, so I was kind of nervous because I've never had that happen before. But it was nice. It was fun. The water definitely reminded me of when we went when I was 11 because we went, and it was a really choppy day that day, and it was so much fun. But it was a nice day. We um went up to – my dad really wanted to go see the houses. That was really the main reason we were going. He wanted to go up to um West Bluff, which is where all these pretty cottages are. And – we had done this. This is what we did last time. He came up for Memorial Day and we hiked out towards Devil Kitchen. And then we ended up taking the Rust Bluff stairs, which I think is 205 stairs. And there's a break in between them. So you go up a, flight of a few flights of stairs and then you have this trail you go through. And then there's some, and you'll see this in the video. And there's a second flight of stairs where we are on the trail. And then you are at Rust Bluff. Um, 
we were actually joking about taking Pontiac's trail, which is this trail that in some places is 32 inches wide and it has, and it follows the natural terrain. So it's steep. So it's gradient is between two and 20 in some places. So it's like two and then other places it's 20. So it's a very steep trail, which if I go back up there next summer, I am definitely doing Pontiac's trail. I really want to do that. There are so many trails I want to do that I get to, didn't get a chance to do. And I would have done more of them today. would have been up there longer. Except my dad, like my mom, doesn't like to drive after dark. And it's fall, so it's getting darker earlier. In fact, it's 5 now, and you can see how dark it is. So that's why we didn't go out to Arch Rock or anything, because I knew my dad would want to be off the island no later than 3 o'clock, because it would take us about two to three hours to get home. So we got off the island. So we went, so we did that. Um, last time my dad and I did this, we walked up to Rust Bluff and then we walked down past the Grand Hotel to get back to downtown. Well, we were going to do that today instead of just going hiking up the trail because my brother was with us. We were just going to walk up to Grand Hotel and cut through Grand Hotel. And they told us, oh, just to walk in front of the Grand Hotel, it's $10, which kind of came as a surprise to my dad and me. I mean, we assume that it's just $10 to go into the hotel, not walk past the hotel, because that's actually kind of a public road that runs right in front of the hotel, but apparently it's not, which is stupid because I I know it is. I was on Mackinac Island for three weeks. That's a public road, but they told us it was going to be $10 for us to walk in front of the Grand Hotel on this public road, and we're like, really? Because my dad and I did this in May and we walked in front of the Grand Hotel back to the downtown area and we weren't charged and we told the girl at the entrance at the near the Grand Hotel that we weren't staying at the Grand we were on our way back to the city and she didn't say a word about us paying the ten dollars so that came as a sock so we actually had to find an alternate route that took us into a part of the island I had never been before like really where the main like year-round residents are like this little country area and we had to go through these back roads and it was fun it was awesome so we did that and then we took the stairs down um and went back to the mainland we went and had lunch at my favorite pizza place in the entire state of michigan and there's only one of them in the entire state and it's only on mackinac island island sites pizza it is the best pizza in the state of michigan i love it it's so good my brother thought the pizza was okay i think the pizza is amazing my brother liked the pizza, but his favorite thing was the breadsticks, which is one of the reasons why I like Island Size so much, is they have the most amazing breadsticks. It was so good. So we got Island Slice, and then we went to Joanne's Fudge, which is my personally my favorite fudge shop on the island, and they have Mays, Murdoch's, Reba's, or Riba's, however you say it, Saunders, there's Joanne, and there's a couple more. But Joann's is my favorite, and I always go to the same Joann's. I go to this Joann down near the docks because I befriended a woman who worked there a the few weeks. I saw her, my, I saw her, she was, like, working almost every single time I went in. And so I go in, and she was kind of surprised because I don't, she, I haven't been in. Like, I went on my last day, and I didn't tell her I was leaving. So I went in, and she's like, hi, I'm like, I'm back. And I said, yeah, I don't work here anymore. I left. And I came up for the day with my dad and my brother. She's like, you're here for the day? I'm like, yeah, with my dad and my brother. My mom's in Gaylord, or she would have come with us, which would have been great because at Island Slice, they have gluten-free pizza. And so we, so I'm, like, talking. I have a coupon for 50% off. And they have this special, which is three slices of fudge for $19.95, which is not that bad. And so I got three slices for me. Because I'm a fudgeaholic, and I love it. And I got maple walnut, rocky road, and peanut butter, which are my three favorite fudge, fudge flavors. And I really am, maple walnut, it's like, I was so scared to try it. It's actually really, really good. Um, so I got those, and then I got, my brother got dark, dark sea salt caramel. And my mom wanted chocolate, so I got a chocolate, and then I got a second slice of chocolate. Because I was getting it through like two boxes anyway, so I said, let's get a second piece of chocolate so that you and mom can split it if you want. Because I feel bad enough that I got three pieces of fudge. <laughs> I mean, there's two of us. I guess you could say we could have gotten two slices each. Mom, two. Yeah, so we could have gotten two slices each, but we didn't. So I felt bad. And my brother's not a big fudge eater either, so probably would have ended up being like four slices of chocolate and one dark chocolate. <laughs> um... But well, we did that. That was fun. And then we went to go walk around a little bit more. We went to Dots because I was like, we don't really want to 
stop in Gaylord. We want to just go all the way through because we're leaving later because when my dad and my brother came to pick me up, we decided to have lunch in Gaylord and stay on the island because I just wanted to leave because I'd been having such a negative experience, which is hysterically funny because I didn't realize how much I missed the island until I got back on the island after being on the ferry from Mackinac City and I realized just how much I missed the island because I fell in love with the people and the experience and the atmosphere, not my job. My job drove me away from the island and I love it up there. So I'm going to try next year to get a job. I decided... I want to try to work at Joanne's, but anyway, I skipped the best part. Back to Joanne's. I'm rambling. Back at Joanne's, the woman recognized me. I had a 15% off coupon, which they have scattered all over the island for all the fudge shops, which I was going to use to cover the cost, and she went, oh no, I'm going to use your island discount, which island employees get a discount at the store, at a lot of the stores, so that is awesome, so I'm like, okay, so she gives me the discount, and what should have been an almost 30, 40, 35, 40 dollar purchase only was 26.55, and so I saved a ton of money uh, with her letting me use, and she did the same for my dad, and she knows I no longer work on the island, but she still gave me an island discount, so that was so nice, but um, after Joanna went to Dad's, because I knew Dad didn't really want to stop and get food, and I knew my brother and I would probably be hungry, so I'm like, why don't we just stop at Dad's, and Aaron and I can get drinks and stuff, so Aaron got a pop, I got a water, I got a couple of my favorite Reese's peanut, Reese's peanut Butter Cup cookies that they make on the island, which are so good, and they have them at Dodd's, so I got a couple of those, and then we went, and then we discovered, oh, the boat's not, the boat isn't there, so we went to go look at some stores, I wanted to get something for my mom, I couldn't find anything in any of the stores, we left the store, we decided to go back to wait for the ferry, and waiting at Shepler, Shepler's has a little, Starline has gift shop, so, I got this for my mom. It's a little magnet with um, lilacs. For those of you who don't know, the lilac is like the number one plant they have on Mackinac Island. They are everywhere. They have this big, huge weekend festival in June. It's like the first weekend in June called the Lilac Festival. And there are lilacs freaking everywhere on the island. So it's like... And then my brother got a postcard with a wolf, and then I got this for myself. It's a little Michigan button. Ooh, it's pretty, but yeah, so I'm home now, probably won't be doing anything fun for a couple more weeks until we go to Bronner's. My mom should be, mom should be on her way home from Gaylord soon. I'm really proud of her. She had to take a test. Oh, it got dark. <laughs> I am walking through the living room to the kitchen because I still have stuff to put away and I think my tablet's out here. It is. It's in the bag from that. But, um... My mom texted us, she had to take a test because she was at the Walmart Training Academy and she got a, um, oh my cookie broke. See, this is the cookie I got from Dots. These things are massive and huge for $1.69. And this was actually baked two days ago. So, they actually, a lot of the baked goods and stuff at Dots, which is the only grocery store on the island, those are pretty much baked fresh every few days like the cinnamon rolls and everything so it is insane how fresh everything is up there which is probably one of the reasons i like it so much is that um the pre-packaged food you can buy like the deli stuff you can buy at the supermarket and stuff that is all pretty much made fresh almost every single day so it's insane it's expensive but it's good so but, of course, we can't leave Mackinac Island without fudge. And this is my box, so this is the maple. That is maple walnut, which get back in there. And then, so this is the maple, this is the Rocky Road, and then that is the peanut butter. And my dad got um, three slices for himself, too, and he also got the um, Rocky Road, which is just... So, see, there are a few flavors I didn't think I would like. Like, the Rocky Road, I never in a million years thought I would like that because I never really thought of Rocky Road. Like, oh, let me eat it. But I decided to um, try it because I was like, I can't always have peanut butter fudge. And my thing is, is chocolate fudge is good. I don't like plain old chocolate fudge. So, I like fudges that have like flavor and stuff which is probably one of the reasons I love peanut butter so much because my favorite combination of sweets is actually peanut butter and chocolate so um 
I tried the Rocky Road and it was amazing. And then the Walnut Foot, the wa Maple Walnut Road happened is I went in one day and they were just scooping up some freshly made Maple Walnut Fudge. They just made a batch. They just cut, sliced it up and we're getting it ready to cool. And the guy who had made it was cutting, so it was um, scraping up the scraps from the um, granite countertop they used to make the fudge. And he... And it was offering people the scraps to try. And it was amazing. It was so good. I immediately turned around and ordered a brick of the maple walnut fudge. And that fueled my obsession with peanut butter and maple syrup on my waffles. Which my mom thinks is totally weird. But it, there's just something about that, that combination of maple and nut that is just amazing. So... It was awesome. So I am home now. I am off tomorrow. Thank goodness my boss did not call me because I think I would be exhausted. Good news is I made it through the day without my knee being in horrendous pain. So I'm not going to the doctor's tomorrow, which is really good news. Um, it was in pain a little bit, but I attribute that to me um, walking up and down the stairs. So, but it has been hurting even when I haven't been walking. So I just think I'm overusing it too much. So I don't know, but Good news is, is my knee did not blow itself out, so I have a garbage bag. We actually use this at the house I lived at with the girls. This is one of the few things. I already do this at home. I use these little plastic grocery bags for my mini garbage cans because I don't like to throw them out because they're plastic. And because of how it works on Mackinac Island, you have to have these special garbage bags to throw your garbage out. And those are like $5, so you're not like using them for everything. So we would actually save I was already doing this to um for my garbage can home but all the girls we would actually save our plastic shopping bags and like dots and stuff and we would in even from the fudge shops and we would use those we would hang, we had like one hanging in the bathroom on the door of the bathroom and we would use that for bathroom trash and then every other week we take out our we put them in take them out because those are five dollars a piece so I'm so happy. I'm happy to be home. I'm going to miss Mac. I miss Mackinac, and this is probably was our last trip of the year. Um, all the stores, everything is starting to close up there. All the hotels are getting ready to close for the season because the season actually ends this final week in uh, the last weekend of October. Lakeview Hotel, the hotel I work at, actually closes the week before Halloween and then reopens for Halloween week because they have this big, huge tri Halloween trick or treating event on the island. But um, all the hotels, all, most of the stores, every place is really getting ready to shut down for the season. So, um, in fact, Starline, the ferries we use, they are closing. They have three docks. They have two in Mackinac City and one in St. Nemus. They are actually closing. The two in Mackinac City are closed from November through April. And you can only use the one in St. Ignis. So, and they only have one ferry that they run during winter. So... Everything in Mackinac Island is starting to close, so this is like one of the final weeks to go up there and really experience everything because everything's just closing. So it was fun. I'm going to miss it. I hope, I really hope I'm going to be able to get a job at Joanne's Fudge so I can go back up there for the summer. I think working at Joanne's, I'd have a much more positive experience than I would if I, than working at another hotel. I mean, when I think about it, working in a hotel was great, but I am not—I am definitely not meant for the hotel industry. I do better in office administration and retail, so I'm going to have to face that. But it was fun. I had a great day. I'm tired. I have to go get today's vlog posted. I probably won't even edit work on editing this one till tomorrow because I promised one of my—I promised my guild master in Old Republic I played Old Republic tonight. So I'm going to get food. Well, I'm going to change out of these clothes, get food, watch my videos. And totally chill out and relax. So from this Michigan girl, lots of love, hugs, and prayers. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.